empty world, y'all never know Body in the head, empty even when we're toe to toe Aspirations ain't grown Girl, I'll forever be How do I even start talking such enormous musical and cultural phenomenon as the Gorillas? And especially how do I start a top 10 list of the best songs? Probably from the honorable mentions, I guess. But before I get down to that let me say one more thing. To those who already know me, you know that I'm a weird person and that my top 10 lists are extremely subjective. And to those of you who don't know me yet. Now you know. Okay, let's go. Hey. At the first attempt of narrowing my types for this list, I ended up with as much as 30 songs. After some soul-ripping hardships, I selected 20 of them. So, here are my 10 honorable mentions. Just let me officially say hello. Welcome to my subjective list of top 10 Gorilla songs. Charger featuring Grace Jones from Humans, 2017. I couldn't ignore this monster of a fat, fat beat. Just can't stop my head from uncontrollable moves throughout this one. Sweepstakes, featuring Moss Death from Plastic Beach, 2010. If there would be a swag award for a song and I would be the one to choose the winner, the title would certainly go to the cooler than coolest track featuring Moss Death. I don't think I have to explain why. Fireflies from The Now Now, 2018. A powerful, powerful song. The first one I've heard from the brilliant The Now Now record. Don't you dare listening to it without the volume cranked up to the sky. Latin Simone. Que pasa contigo? Featuring Ibrahim Ferrer from Gorillaz, 2001. Stylish, slow paced, and surprisingly bittersweet. What a surprise of a song! 1% from The Now Now, 2018. The beauty lies in details, and in the rich atmosphere of this little, soft playing, and unavoidably tragic song. The main motive in the center of it is unforgettable and painfully simple. Trans from The Now Now 2018 Don't know what's up with replacing the final S with Z in the recent Gorilla stuff, but this tune is it. This is exactly what replacing the final S with Z sounds like. Fauna to Arizona from The Fall 2011 if this track proves anything, it's that Damon Alban is an absolute beat mastermind. Just try tracking down all the minute, tiny details sued into this composition. I dare you. On a Melancholy Hill, from Plastic Beach, 2010. Okay, I know that I'm probably the guy who sickly avoids any famous hits by his favorite bands. And this is a famous hit. A smash hit. And I wasn't getting it for such a long time. But then, there was this one day when I had been still studying at my uni, I played it on my cheap basic earphones and it struck me. Oh man. Sorcerers from The Now Now, 2018. 
I love laughing out loud from how delightfully Alban has fun with his 2D character while singing. And this is a wonderful, chilled out prime example. Cloud of Unknowing, featuring Bobby Womack, from Plastic Beach, 2010. Now, this song pierces right through your soul. Bobby Womack's voice is piercing, the instrumental string section are piercing, the air of Cloud of Unknowing is piercing. Incredible. Kill the lights, put on your best set of headphones, lie down on the floor and let it pierce you. Number 10. Killbilly Man, featuring Mick Jones, from The Fall, 2011. Relaxing and laid-back guitar tune only takes about a minute before the gorilla's craziness sets off. From high-pitched vocals by 2D to addictive chorus, this one's got it all. One of many reasons why I love The Fall so badly. Number 9. Ticker Tape, featuring Carly Simon and Kali Yukis from Humans Deluxe 2017. One of the hidden gems of the Deluxe edition of Humans. The dreamy, distance feeling of this song is out of this planet. The featured artists deliver. The farther Ticker Tape goes, the more surprising and ambitious and simply pretty it gets. It's a perfect example that Alban keeps on growing as a musician and vocalist with each new artistic project he tackles. Number 8. The Parish of Space Dust from The Fall, 2011. It's definitely the most influential default track for me. Supported by a quirky beat made out of a Texas radio station, it doesn't lose time and attacks the listener with a gorgeous, melancholic tone. Cue to these vocals and there you go. It's brief, urgent like a cry of a lost soul and I believe it to be the beating heart of the whole terrific album. Number 7. The Soleil. Featuring Fatomata Diawara, from The Song Machine, Season 1, Episode 2, 2020. The Tole is full package. Brilliantly simple yet haunting on its musical level. Damon Alban and Fatomata Diawara are killing it. However, the most important aspect of the song to me is how original it is, how swiftly it takes us from one distant emotional place to another. And I have to say it right here, right now, the thing Gorillas are doing with the Song Machine project is groundbreaking to me, and probably pioneering a brand new form of publishing an album, by realizing respective songs like episodes in a TV series. And the fact that I've been doing a pretty similar thing with my Move to Mind for some time now, makes me even more proud of it. Number 6. Pirate Jet from Plastic Beach, 2010. I found Pirate Jet quite accidentally, but after that, there was no coming back. That strange atmosphere of grandiose coolness and burning feeling that you're at the very same second both losing something important and setting out on a completely new adventure in your life. That simply owns me. Cannot do much about it, sorry. Number 5. Magic City from The Now Now, 2019. I think I'm pretty sure that Damon Alban is a freaking master of combining contrasting emotions in his art. And I also think that Magic City is a shining advocate, for my opinion. 
The genuine mix of opposite feelings can't stop dancing on the top of the beautiful sounds beneath it. Today is better than ever, this song is like a tremendous journey into another neon dimension. Number 4. Hong Kong from D Sides, 2007. It's difficult to describe how lucky I was to stumble upon this remarkable piece of musical narration. Thank you, YouTube. I might also try to say that this song is the best vocal performance in Alban's career. Enigmatic lyrics and riveting, humbly gorgeous musical production succeed in striking my heart every time I give it a listen. It is a shame this masterpiece is so little known, you know? It just makes me a little bit sad. Number 3. Sleeping Powder. A single. 2017. If trance is what the Z at the end of words feels like, then sleeping powder is what an overall coolness sounds like. When it came out, I literally went crazy. Shared it with every person I met, like I got some um, sleeping powder. The stylistic range, catchiness and lazy voice of 2D are in a perfect crazy harmony here. Don't you dare listening to it if you haven't yet, or you'll end up just like me, losing your sanity to it, and stupidly smiling at the same time. Kid Albatross from G Sides, 2001. It opens with a quote from The Night of the Living Dead, has some seriously weird drum section, zombie SFX in the background, and I think the most lunatic 2D performance in his career. And it is on a record which consists of songs that didn't make the cut for Gorilla's self titled debut album. Yet besides all of this strangeness, ever since my first listen of it, it took the place of a kind of my spirit animal. It just finds a way to my soul, that's all. Can't explain why, exactly. My father introduced me to Gorillaz via that album, g Sides. It was around the time of me finding out that Arctic Monkeys exist. And Damon Alban's musical fantasies have got a grip on my life from that day like very little other artists' work ever have. I'm not really sure if I'd be the same person today if it wasn't for that album, if it wasn't for that song. I wish I could thank Damon for all of this, but let's be realistic, I will probably never get the slightest chance, so I'm gonna thank my father for introducing me to Damon Alban instead. Thank you, Dad. You're the best dad I could ever have got. Number one. Um, before we put an end to this mess of a top ten list, please bear in mind that this is solely subjective, alright? Everyone's got their own number one pick, right? Uh, all clear? Okay. Number 1. Sukai from The Now Now, 2018. I'm not sure if this song is close to the typical Gorillaz vibe. I'm not even sure whether there is a certain kind of Gorillaz style. Why is it at the first spot of my list then, you ask? 
The story it tells to such a magnificent and reflective result makes me think of all my dearest friends I don't see anymore. And when the chorus comes in, I will always think about you. So sensitively sang by Damon Albarn, I almost feel like I go back in time, like I'm almost back there, at the point in my life where all the people I loved were around me, but I never arrived there. It's just that Sukai allows me to feel like I almost can travel in time. That is why it's on the top of my chaotic subjective ranking. Well, I should have probably predicted this is where Talking Gorillas would eventually take me, but hey, that's hard. It's a funny little invention, crafted out of bad lies, yet at the end of the day, always ringing true. Obviously, that's the end of my subjective top 10 Gorillas songs list, and I could easily say Thank you for watching and don't shy away from typing your pics in the comments, but Gorillas holds such vast space in my mind that stopping at this point feels at least wrong. So maybe instead of saying all of those things I usually say, I think I will say to be continued. I haven't said anything for about three months. What's something to say? Now. <laughs> I haven't got. I, 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 it, this is very ironic. I haven't got a cold. I'm absolutely fine. I've, uh, I've, uh, I've never sneezed on stage ever in my life.